Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Hey, I know it's been a while since I did a video and everything, but I want to give you a little bit of updates of stuff that's been going on. Even though it's been like cold weather, today it's like 30 degrees outside right now, and it was 40, I think 42 earlier today, so wasn't able to ride. But I did get some rides in in the last time frame since I did a video. But did some changes and stuff like that, and I'm end up talking about them. So I'm going to change the camera around, and we're focused on the bike and some things I got going on. All right. So as I know, this is my 2015 ZX-14. All right. I told y'all last time that, you know, I got the, the action camera and all that stuff. I'm actually using it. So I hope everything turns out real good. But in that time frame and all that stuff, I've decided that I was going to switch from BP to Renegade Gas. And Renegade Gas does not pay me for this um, or sponsor me in any type of way. But uh, I've had some experience and some of my friends have had experience and good experience with this fuel. Plus this fuel is local so I'm able to, you know, I don't have to order it online. I can just go, you know, like five miles and able to go get it. All right. But this fuel that I'm using is the Renegade Pro Nitrous Extreme. And that Pro Nitrous Extreme is a 123 octane. Alright. And I'm able to get it at a good price. Alright. And like I said, it's local. But uh, I recently, for my grudge bike, ended up switching to four pound bottles. So. I've got all these uh, two and a half pound bottles. I got a total of I think six two and a half pound bottles, and I got a one point five pound bottle. But uh, let you see, I got one here, one there, one there, one on the bike. I got one tucked away, way over there, you know. And then I still got one at the shop. All right, but I'm gonna stick for this bike the two and a half pounds. I'm going to end up getting two more, um, four pounds, and I get them from PFC, and that's uh, Performance First Cycles, and I've got two of the bottles here. Um, this one came with my MPS nitrous kit and all that stuff, that's the reason why it's got the NX and all that stuff on it, um, but PFC, uh, perform Performance First Cycles, they do not sponsor me any type of way. But, like I said, I had good experience with them. The customer service is awesome. So, hey, I keep going back to them, you know. But, uh, I got four black bottles. Well, take it back, I got seven bottles. Four black bottles and two that are custom painted to match the bikes. And I still got the R1 right there. Really haven't touched it much. Um, uh, it's been actually cold in the garage and stuff like that. Plus, they will change my hours of work, so I'm working longer, but more during the day. So when I get home, I usually stay up for like two hours and I crash out. But uh, other than the fuel, um, I'm back burning the baffles back into the bike and all that stuff. I uh, heck painted exhaust, but uh, I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and get it ceramic uh, coated. There's a shop here in town that's going to do it and all that stuff, so... They're going to take care of the ceramic coating and all that stuff of the bike. I'm going to eventually go to a ZX-10 uh, front uh, fender. Because I, I got one on the garage bike. like the way it looks. But this ZX-14, uh, when it's cut in the back so that it fits with the lowered. Because I got cut, short, uh, cut forks and everything on it. And uh, basically, that's most of the changes and other than that. But uh, I end up buying triple trees uh, for the grudge bike. I'm going to try those out, see how those work out. Might end up going some for this bike. Uh, do the, uh, the D-Rake triple trees. But I am looking at getting a uh, subframe for it, this bike. Uh, guy hit me up online. He's talking about subframes, pretty cheap. He weighed it for me. It's pretty light. It's, it's definitely light. It's lighter than uh, what the stock one is. So I'm going to go with that. But uh, I haven't had him, even though uh, since last 
uh, time I post it, I've put maybe 350 miles on it. Well, every time I take the bike out, I usually ride close to, well, I take it back. I ride close to 150 to 200 miles. I've been out three times, so that's 600 miles and all that stuff. It was enough that I had to adjust the chain, and I did a cleaning of the chain, even though it stays in here and it doesn't get wet or any time. But I went on did uh, adjustments and did a cleaning and stuff like that for the chain. I uh, swapped out uh, to a street tire. I had the pro hookups on. I ended up putting a use off on the back. And I got a new tire that I've never used before. And it's a uh, Pirelli. It's a uh, Pirelli street tire. It's Pirelli street something. I can't remember what it is. But it's actually a 9080. A 17. And as you can see, it's not really wide, but it works. Oh, the handling on the street is perfect. Uh, high rate of speed is going around the curves. Uh, it works It works pretty good at Michelin. Because prior, prior to, I had a Pirelli. And that Pirelli, I know it's like in high speeds. And if I was like doing 160 on the interstate and going around a curve, like in the curve, it had a little bit of slippage and it was starting to wear down so it was starting to wobble a little bit um but fixed that issue and all that stuff still rocking the 5150 and um got the mafia sticker from billy amons from uh um met him through facebook uh he does a lot of racing and stuff good uh guy in the zix 14 community all right well i got some riding clips for little trips that i had um i'm gonna end up showing those all right